Magnus Don't Lie. That's part of the title of this episode, and you'll see why when uh, the guys at Griner Auto Body are working on my General Lee. And uh, this episode of Southeast Iowa Today is brought to you by Griner Auto Body of Washington, Iowa, using state-of-the-art techniques and decades of experience to get your car back on the road after an accident. Car Doctor of Washington, Iowa. No matter who Frankensteined it, they can fix and clean and customize it. McDonald Boneyard and Auto Recycling of Kyoto for all of your farm equipment and auto recycling needs. Hinshaw Trailer Sales of Richland, Iowa. You need a trailer and they've got your trailer. They also fix what they sell and don't in their full-time repair shop. Girling Repair of Winfield, Iowa. If your mower is dead, call Fred your Husqvarna, Aaron's, and Gravely dealer, and he also fixes snowblowers. B&B Propane and the family of Jet Stops present Southeast Iowa Today. I'm John Bain, author of Christie's Journey, The Beat Goes On, and your host. On today's episode, we go back to Griner Auto Body to check on the progress of the General Lee. And as I said, magnets don't lie. Well, on the last episode, I showed you the back bumper was hanging here on the rack, and now we got the front bumper and the front, uh, I guess you'd call it the valance on the front. And uh, I'm going to be showing you what the guys have been up to here at Griner Auto Body in Washington, Iowa. Hang tight. Man, oh man, would you look at this. <laughs> oh. There's something cool seeing it like this. And there's also a lot of disturbing things seeing it like this. But it comes with the territory when you're getting things fixed. Isn't that right, General? Jeremy, you found a few things. Yeah, we found a little bit more uh, than we expected on the side of body filler. So when we got into this, the door was about a quarter inch, the quarter panel was about a quarter inch outside of the door uh -huh. so we started grinding down and found a bunch of old work from somebody else at one other point so we decided to explore that and as we came back we got the magnet out to see how thick the filler was and you see here whoa the magnet you know you get right through that filler as it's falling down if it's pure steel it sticks so then you come into here it sticks there there but then right there you got filler there as well. So magnets don't lie, do they? And down here, no, the magnet won't lie. So <laughs> you know you got some good fill in some places. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have Jacob grind this out and he's gonna tell us if we need to replace this quarter or not. Because before we started the job, we're like, we don't know if we're gonna do quarters. The right. solid, side over there is solid. Check the magnet over there. It sticks everywhere oh, fine. Oh. Over here, we got some more problems. And that's the reason we know is when we started sanding down, we found a lot of filler and now we're going to continue on down and see what we have. All right. Well, we'll uh, end this segment and catch up when we're ready to do the next part. Sounds good. Thanks. Okay, so Jacob's going to see what we got, huh? Yeah, he's going to get all that stuff off there, grind it off, and we'll see what we have underneath of it. Okay. Jeremy, what have we found here? So what we found is as you started grinding, you know, obviously you got steel there, but then up here is still filler. We're still getting that down. But you look right here, you can see how deep that filler is. Yeah. That is way thicker than it should be. So what we're going to come to find out is, 
you know, this through here is just crushed in, was in an accident way back in the day, and they just filled it full of fiberglass filler and mudded it up. Or are we gonna continue to get through here and find rust underneath here that they just filled up with fiberglass? So that's what we gotta go through and see. And as you can see over the years, whenever this was repaired by somebody at one point, right. you'll see, you know, you had bare steel, fiberglass, this gray stuff here is all metal. Then they have another coat of filler, body filler, primer, paint, primer, paint, primer, paint, you know? Wow. So it's always fun when you get in these old cars, you never know what you're gonna get, you know? Right. You start into them and you think you might have one thing and you find another. A lot of guys will go out and get this whole car sandblasted down to bare metal or media blasted, however you wanna get it. Nowadays, we normally use media blasting or soda blasting, mm -hmm. so it doesn't disrupt the metal as much. But on this car here, most of this car is in good enough shape that we didn't have to do that. Most of it we know is really solid, but occasionally you find stuff like this. So that's why we're gonna grind this instead of blasting it because there's no reason to blast the entire car. Gotcha. Okay. And Jeremy grinded some more and we're gonna show you what he found. Jeremy, you just did a little more grinding and what do we got here? We've got even more filler. Oh, the fun of filler. Wow. So that's right over here. They completely created that body line out of filler. And we noticed something when we were starting to sand the side, your body line shape was off on this side. That was kind of why we investigated up there what was going on mm -hmm. and checking it here because the body line over the other side comes straight, has a nice swoop over the wheel, and then it comes back down to the front. This side here was pretty much just straight across. Like mm -hmm. they just made a straight line that didn't seem right. So that's when we started having these thoughts that maybe something wasn't right, and now we know. And again, we might be able to get all this off here, and it might still be solid metal that we can pull out and straighten and save the quarter. But if not, then we know we need to replace that. And, and why would they have done it that way back whenever it was done? <laughs> There's a lot of things they used to do that we don't do nowadays. Gotcha. Like overfilling and stuff. That was kind of a common practice by a lot of guys. Uh -huh. But also, the... Uh, the home guy, the guy doing a job at home, didn't quite know what he was doing. Might, might not have the tools to pull the metal out the right way. Gotcha. Just bought a gallon of filler and started filling. Gotcha. So the good thing is, once we figure out what it is, it can be fixed. Yes, one way or another. Whether we got to straighten it or we got to put a quarter on, we'll fix it. It's just which way we're going to go. Right. And we won't know until this is completely in bare metal. All right. Well, Jacob's moved the car outside, and he's grinding on it pretty good, and uh, we'll catch up on another episode. Rolly, what do you think of all this? Is that crazy or what? As you can see, yeah, that's rough for me to watch when they're grinding like that on the General Lee, and we're seeing all the, it in that condition, but what I keep in mind is the uh, pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, which will be the car fixed and looking good again, better than it ever has. So thanks to the guys at Griner Auto Body for that. And also thank you for your sponsorship. Thanks to my other sponsors as well. Car Doctor, McDonald Boneyard, Hinshaw Trailer Sales, Girling Repair, B&B &B Propane, and the family of Jet Stops. I'm your host, John Bain. Stay friendly, Southeast Iowa.